Pokimane is in the news. I made a video about her a while back. I reacted to her because I'd never seen her videos, but recently she made an apology video off the back of some controversy. The first I caught wind of a controversy regarding Pokimane was when I saw a video pop up in my recommended by a YouTube channel called Fainted. The video was titled The Dark Side of Pokimane and was about how on stream she got someone on voice chat via discord and found their channel and threatened to take down their videos. Honestly the videos were transformed so Pokimane had every right in that regard. He had said he'd give a certain amount of subs to her if she said his name, so she did, and he didn't end up gifting the subs. How does it feel to know that I'm going to take down your video? No! Does it hurt your feelings? No! <laughs> she then goes to his Instagram, which she'd found via the description of one of his Twitch compilations about her, and goes through it on stream. Regardless of context, she was making fun of him on stream and in front of her audience, which isn't okay. Yes, he lied about gifting subs and makes clickbait videos about her, but I just don't think it was needed, and really, I think it was cruel of Pokimane to do so. You're what's wrong in this world. <laughs> You're everything that's wrong in this world. A liar, looks up my butt, lies about gifting subs. There'll be a link to that video, The Dark Side of Pokimane, in the description below. The Dark Side of Pokimane is also addressed by Pokimane in her apology video. We'll talk about specifics shortly. YouTubers are known generally for not being good at making apology videos. Pokies does a lot of shift blaming in my opinion. I also feel the only reason this was made was because PewDiePie made a video about false claims and such. So she's like, you know what, how about I make a video about mine too? And I can put PewDiePie in the title. Two birds with one stone. How about that? And views. Yay. The whole copyright abuse thing was hit on by Angelica Ole, and I'd imagine many others before PewDiePie made his video, including myself. I've made a video about it. It often happens with Poppy, but I just feel like Pokey was like, well, with the beers person on the platform addressed it, maybe I should too. I also, you know, it's going to be a great apology video when it starts off like this. Cooper, I have no idea how well, I'm going to record this video, dudette. Okay, I'm so sorry. Pokimane starts off the apologizing. We're talking about how she'd taken down a video that essentially took the collection of her tweets and videos towards Keemstar and put them in a single video. She wanted the drama to be over, so she went and removed one of if not the biggest video on the subject at the time. It was re-uploaded, yet she left the re-uploaded one alone. It wasn't taken down by her. This in itself confuses me. Because surely, if you take it down once, you take it down again. It just makes it seem like she was doing it because she could. She states that as a content creator, she shouldn't have taken it down because it was in the public domain. Maybe she was being a bit impulsive. She also says that she's spoken to the guy who made the video and shows screenshots of the DMs between the two, but they're only up for a few seconds and they aren't further discussed or clarified throughout the video. But here's a few things that those messages actually say if you pause and have a look. Messages between Pokimane and Boblacks. She contacted him because she saw in the top comments of a Kavos video, Kavos, someone I haven't made a video about, that her copyright strike towards him was still an issue, so she wanted to clear the air. This was two months after she had claimed the video initially. After he appealed, it seems that there was no response and it got reinstated after the appeal time was up, or something like that. Although later messages kind of contradict that. She also once again says how she shouldn't have taken it down. It also sounds like she ran it by her management or someone first. If it wasn't transformative, why would you take it down once and not again? The exact same video, as far as I know. She makes it sound like it was at least. It also seems, according to messages, that his strike that uh, she gave him, or her management or whatever, 
was never reverted, yet she was fine with the re-upload. I don't get that. He kept trying to appeal it and it got knocked back each time. Surely if you were pokey and you'd realised you'd made a mistake, you would actually accept the appeal and just leave it? Weirdly enough, she also asked him if he plans on speaking about it publicly or not, which I thought was a bit odd. Pokemon then talks about how good it is. We're all talking about uh, the whole copyright thing and what is and isn't okay in terms of copyright itself. Which is interesting considering it's actually been an issue for ages, probably since the beginning of YouTube and probably even before YouTube. Yet she decided to make a video about it after the biggest person on the entire platform made a video about it. Coincidence? No. No at all. She goes on to talk about the situation on the stream with the guy's channel and Instagram, etc. She says that she forgot to take down some of his videos that weren't transformative. Yet he apparently did take them down or privatise them as she says. After what happened to the guy on the stream, if I was him, I would also feel pressured to take down those videos because it was borderline public humiliation. She also says that she doesn't like clickbait titles and I suppose reports them or takes them down because she's afraid that her mum will see. Pokemon also states that she shouldn't have had that conversation on stream. Sure, there's merit to that. But to me, it implies that her Pokemon name and her are, in fact, different. It's never clarified that Pokemon is an alter ego or anything, so why should she not have the conversation on stream? I mean, it's not a conversation I'll personally have in private either, but to me she's implying that she's trying to hide a side of herself from the stream, like personality-wise. I'm just not keen on people presenting fake fronts. Anyway, I don't really, I don't have a say, I shouldn't have a say on what she does or doesn't do, I just want to put my two cents in, I guess, in that regard. The dark side of Pokemon video I was talking about earlier is used in the title of Pokey's video and is shown for an amazing 8 seconds and cut in a way that doesn't offer full context of what is said in the video. Good on you, Pokey. Talking about how important context is earlier on in the video and then you just go on to not offer full context of a video about you. Just top-notch stuff there, mate. Well, I know it's not the worst apology I've ever seen. It touches on all the things it should have, but I feel that there's at least one instance of hypocrisy, and a lot of it is just justifying her actions in general, not taking responsibility. Have a nice day. If you did enjoy the video, subscribe to become a Marzian. If you did like the video, it mean a lot if you could leave a like. It does actually help like to get recommended and such. Have a great day.